Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and thank you very much to all those patient waiters and loyal followers who have been waiting for this video and for all of the videos that I've been posting and have been keeping up with my social media. I really appreciate the, the, the small community that we have here on my channel and hi my family, welcome back. Thank you so much guys, my brothers and sisters and cousins and my mom. <laughs> I don't think my mom has any seen any of my videos, but anyways, I'm going to try to make this as concise and as quick as possible because shout out to my sister. She said that my videos are a little bit long and <laughs> I'm going to try to make sure that I have, um, that I keep um, a very great, concise, um, limited time because I really believe that this is something that is super important and um I, I just really, really want to share this information with all those who are trying to um, build their business, develop themselves personally, and, um, you know, who follow my, my channel and who have the same ideas or who have questions also are very welcome. So I'm just going to get into this and this list in no particular order are books that I have read once or twice or more <laughs> because I love them and I think that there is a message to be taken away and that it's something that I can grow from um, that is really helping me understand a lot about humanity, about myself, and in what direction I want to grow. And so in no particular order, don't come for me because I didn't send for you. <laughs> I just heard that somewhere. Anyways, so the first book, because it's the last book that I read very recently, and um, I'll just kind of hopefully uh, list it in the description bar below or um, tell you right now how long it took me to listen to this book because I've only listened to it um, on audiobooks. So um, you could, there are several ways you could go about it. You could either go on YouTube, depending on what country you are, um, and hear it while you're at home if you have internet, and it's called as a man thinketh as a man thinketh is from james allen and it's uh it's a pretty it's a pretty good suggestive piece and i really like it because it you can listen to it in um 140 minutes is the exact amount of time at least that's the version that i got it was for 140 minutes it's pretty easy i mean and I, because of that when I'm on the way somewhere, when I'm exercising or cleaning, I just pop it in because I'm it, I'm I'm not really like focusing my me my my um my mind on what I'm on the task that I'm doing. So something like walking that I don't need to think about doing is a good um, exercise for me to be doing and listening to the book. So I love this book for that because it's 140 minutes. I could do it in in two halves um and be done and you know each time it's one of those that each time you listen to it you get something new so if you're one of those who likes to write down little nuggets um running or writing uh sorry writing or walking or any kind of exercise might not be a good idea because then you can't really make notes because you're kind of active but any in any case it's really short and it's good and i love it <laughs> the next one is the richest man in the richest man in babylon which is from George S. Carlson. I love, love, love this book. Of course, it's one of those that I just recently read. So again, in no particular order, I'm not all about the money, but finances have been especially important to me very recently. And so I started looking for popular books that are in that direction. And so this is one of them that was absolutely a must read for me because like all of the financial big heads um, mention this book in their books or in their speaking. And so I was like, well, you know, maybe I definitely want to get a hold of this. And so it's also one of those that I've read, um, which is about double the time of the, uh, as a man think it, it's about three hours, I think, or four, 400 hours. Four, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. 400 minutes, <laughs> which is a couple of hours. You know, it's not that long but it's one of those pretty intense books that you want to always keep on going back to. So I love it. Please pick up a copy or listen to it on YouTube. I think depending again on where you are, you can pick up a copy um, in um, uh, online or uh, on YouTube. The next one is The Way. Guys, this is another pretty intense book and it's from 
Jose Maria Esquiva. Escriva. I'm hoping I'm saying it correctly. And there are just several versions of the way, so that's why the name is really important here. Jose Maria Escriva. That's a really, really good book. And, you know, it's one of those that takes you in. I've only read about 98% of it because I, I, I had it and then I lost it and then I had to get it again. But anyways, it's a really good one. And it's one of those that you're like, yeah, yeah, ooh. It's really something that you want to um, practice, right? So this is one of those holy grail books that you always want to keep on referring back to. And that's kind of like the kind of books that I like, books that you want to hold on to, listen to, read on your Kindle, have on your shelf. <laughs> like I have several versions <laughs> of this book because it's so important to me, yet I haven't been able to finish it yet. <sighs> but I'm getting to it. Don't worry about it. I'm a busy girl. Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill is also something that you want to read. Doesn't matter. People have a lot of good and bad things to say about Napoleon Hill. The fact of the matter is the book is really good. It makes a lot of sense. And when applied properly, it can change your life and has also very much changed my life. So please make sure that you uh, listen to that. A Mutant Message Down Under. I did not get the author's name, um, but I will because it is one of those that has, a, through a storytelling experience, the uh, the lending itself to a, a very important spiritual journey. Uh, spoiler alert, No Matter What and Abundance Now by Lisa Nichols. Um, I could refer a, a lot to uh, her story. I could refer and I can identify with, and I really like her style because it's very simplistic. And, you know, she break it down for you. She really break it down for you. Becoming by Michelle Obama. That's a very recent one that I have read. It was a gift from my husband that I, thank you. Thank you, boo. Um, I really, really enjoyed it. Oh my gosh. It is so bright on a very, very interesting fall day. <laughs> like, why is it so bright? Um... The Alchemist by Paulo Coelho. Um, he's a really re great author. I've read a lot of his pieces, and I really like The Alchemist. I loaned it to a cousin, never gave it back. I'm not going to call name. It's okay. I can always buy another one. <laughs> um, also, okay, is this better? Is this better, guys? Sorry. I just don't want to look too bright, you know? Uh, anyway, so... Ah, Millionaire Underdog by J.T. Fox. You know, he's, yeah. I don't really think that me and him kind of clicked the way I would have hoped to. I was very, very, very excited to meet him and it wasn't what I expected. But that aside, a lot of what he says in the book hit home with me as truth and um, sometimes truth hurts. <laughs> and uh, the more I read this book, because it's one of those that I've read several times, the more I can see a lot of... Um, of what he's saying that makes a lot of sense. And and once I was uh, able to let go of whatever it is I was holding on to that I, you know, felt personally offended by what he was saying, um, the easier it was for me to receive the information. Yes, it's beautiful out there, isn't it? So anyways, um, The Secret by Rodna Brine. I know a lot of people, Byron, Byron, Bernie? Okay. Rhonda Bernie, I think is that. I'm pronouncing it wrong. I've listened, read, and looked at this book. And it I was really, really into it. And my mom was like, oh, hi, mom, if you're listening. Mom was like, oh, it's, it's very new age. The principles are very, very similar to that of the Bible, which is my next read, the Holy Bible. And, you know, whether you're Christian or Jewish or Hindi or um, whatever else or non-believer, I really think that the Bible is a very, very in its own way, philosophical storytelling piece that can, that one can draw a lot of experience and inspiration and knowledge from. And so again, in no particular order, um, that's definitely one of the books that I have on the list here. Whether you want to read um, King James or Catholic or whatever, because yes, there are different versions. Um, the stories kind of, some of the stories um, that resonate with me, I use in my own teaching because they are so powerful. So again, um, if you have any book 
that you think should be on this list, please subscribe, like, comment below, and let me know what you think of this list and what you think I should read next. So, again, bye!